Now at five o'clock, this story. Because the community, our residents are all counting on us. Well, it might have been just a drill, but a very real scenario played out at the Emergency Operations Center today in New Haven. The Atlantic hurricane season is here, and city leaders ran through their plan just in case we're impacted here in Connecticut. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris was right there and shares what everyone needs to know. The more that we sweat in peacetime, the less we will bleed in war. Hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst, as the threat of tropical weather and hurricanes heightens here in Connecticut. Let's do our best to get ready for the unexpected. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from the beginning of June until the end of November. Kind of welcome everyone here. To make sure they're ready, leaders from different departments met at New Haven's Emergency Operations Center to discuss how they'd respond. It started with a hypothetical hurricane. As of Monday morning at 7 a.m., Hurricane Alfred is moving at 40 miles per hour. Director of Emergency Operations Rick Fontana described its projected impact and what it means for residents. Departments will prepare for evacuation of the East Shore, City Point, and areas identified along the Quinnipiac River. Throughout this drill, they went around the room detailing each department's response. We'd also be looking at our equipment, making sure that we're fully capable of handling any means of destruction. The most important thing, especially when there are trees and wires down, widespread power outages, damage to buildings and bridges and blocked roads is communication. Unified command is key where everybody's here, all the big players in the one room making the decisions and disseminating information out to their personnel. Going forward, there are three things the public should be keeping in mind. You should be making a plan, building a kit and staying informed. That kit can include a radio, flashlight, batteries, water, food, insurance paperwork, and other important documents. You should also have extra medication on hand. By taking these extra precautions, you and your family will be better prepared for whatever Mother Nature throws our way this hurricane season. In New Haven, Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.